851, turn right, heading 180. 014 Papa, turn right 245, report localizer established 27. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. It was around two days ago that I brought you the extremely positive news of the KLM 747s being slated to fly for an extra year, and this was due to the delayed arrival of the Airbus A350. In this particular video, I thought I'd take a look at the future of other aircraft within the aviation industry, specifically the 767 and also just a quick look at the 747. We'll begin with American Airlines, who in recent days announced that they would be retiring their 767-300s. This was announced by Airways Mag and marks the end of an era for that particular aircraft. The 767s, which currently stand at 23 within this airline, have been given the marching orders with the year of 2021, currently set to be the final time they will grace the skies. While this is an unfortunate time, it isn't necessarily unexpected. Earlier this year, we did see American place a further order for the Boeing 787 aircraft. And in the internal memo, American Airlines did note the phasing out would work hand in hand with the arrival of these new 787s. The departure of the 767 acts as part of the streamlining in the American Airlines fleet. As we know, the airline recently turned down rumours that they were interested in the 777X because they believed that the 787 was the best option. Again, this is for streamlining. The 767s are quite common across many routes, including transatlantic services, and we've actually already progressively seen some of these aircraft depart the fleet. Ultimately, the 767 is one of the handful of aircraft set to be removed from the airline over the coming years, with the 737 MAX and A321neo aircraft all joining up in the next 5-10 to 10 years to really give a whole new fresh feel to the carrier. Staying on the topic of the Boeing 767, I just wanted to also take a quick look at the British Airways ones, which alongside the American Airlines 767s have quickly become known as workhorses. In fact, British Airways have been operating the 767 for 28 years. That in this day and age is almost unheard of, with other aircraft with many different airlines favouring brand new ones and fresh fleets over the ageing planes like the 767s, 757s and other alike. The final British Airways 767 is set to depart the carrier in the fourth quarter of this year. So unfortunately that does mean in just a few months after 28 years of service, the final 767 will depart the airline. So if you haven't had the opportunity to see this aircraft and you do, and maybe you're from Europe or elsewhere, I'd certainly recommend going to see it as soon as possible. In recent years, the 767s have been extremely popular among short hop services across the entirety of Europe, with flights to Rome, Amsterdam and Stockholm all on the schedule. Finally, while not an aircraft retirement solely, I do want to take the opportunity to discuss a bit of a role change within Qantas, touching just a little bit on the retirement, but more a change in operations. The Boeing 747 earlier this year, if you weren't aware, was given its retirement date, with the last aircraft departing the fleet in 2020, a fitting time as this is Qantas's 100th birthday. And as many are saying, it's the changing of the guard, and the baton is going from the 747 to the Boeing 787 and the eventual aircraft with Project Sunrise. As Qantas takes on additional 787-9s and plans for Project Sunrise, the introduction of those 787-9s has in fact meant the accelerated retirement of the 747s. With that comes the removal of them from select routes. The notable ones making the headlines have been the Los Angeles to New York service, which has actually been served by that very Qantas 747 for 46 years, and that is an incredibly long time, close to double the life of the British Airways 767 alone. While that route isn't necessarily going anywhere, that flight is now going to be operated by the 7879, and similar to American Airlines, it signals the change in industry trends. With the 747 going out, what does this mean for the future of the New York route? Well, while it is a blow for the aviation enthusiasts that do like the 747, it does actually mark a very exciting time. A goal of Project Sunrise is to get aircraft flying non-stop from the eastern side of Australia to New York. If that is possible, it'll bring a whole heap of new opportunities for people from New York and Australia. While all these stories are quite sad in their own way, because as we know, any aircraft retirement is like that, the future is something to really look forward to with new possibilities coming from aircraft like the A350 ULR and the 777-8. 
Now, the reason I made this video is I didn't want to make three mini videos discussing these, as I'd probably be two minutes long, quite boring, even one minute thirty, and I just wanted to compile it all down into this sort of video, so you can get all of the retirement news, changing of the guard, as they say, and more in this compressed clip. I'd like to once again thank you very much for your continued support. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop it a like. I do look forward to you all joining me in the next one. And we'll fly.